if you're looking for ways to maximize your returns on your flips, should you skip the permitting process? Well, the simple answer is if you're adding square feet, always make sure to permit it. You got plans, you got permits, and you want to get that square footage added to the tax records, which adds a tremendous amount of value to the property. But the deeper question is, if it's not going to add square footage to the property, should you actually permit cosmetic renovations? It's very, very, very controversial in the flipping world and many people do it and many people don't because it can be costly and timely and a lot of headache to pull permits, but it can also be a ton of work if you don't pull permits and get caught by the city. So make sure whether you decide to pull permits or not, you know exactly in that city what needs to get permitted, what you're doing in order to bypass that process so you ensure that if the city shows up to your door, you can articulate well what was done, why you didn't get permits, and how you could essentially go back and fix that problem so you can get that house onto the market and get your profits quick.